So I'm here live in the mountains of Tennessee and I'm sorry, in the mountains of Alabama, in Eider, Alabama, with a sometime uh, broadcast episode of Backyard Thoughts from the Edge. The backyard this time being the beautiful mountains in North Alabama. As you can see from this panoramic view, I'm atop a mountain that I hiked up to. Uh, and it's just beautiful up here. And uh, I'm uh, the Rev, also known as Bruce. And uh, with this beautiful backdrop behind me, we have another episode of Backyard Thoughts from the Edge. And I just want to share with everyone that being out here has been an inspiration for me. I've wrote several poems. Also had the privilege of visiting several monuments of the Trail of Tears. Wrote a poem based on that and inspired by that. You can check out the poems I wrote over the last couple nights by going to my Facebook page. We'll also be posting them on the Refuge Facebook page. But as, as, I'm, as I'm sitting here and thinking, and really, if you can hear that breeze, it's just amazing. I'm a little out of shape. I haven't hiked in quite a long time. But it's just beautiful. As you can see, God's creation in all its natural beauty what formed over thousands, millions of years. Uh, these beautiful rocks and moss and trees and the changing of the color of the leaves is just beautiful. And then you see all those mountains down there, just breathtaking and beautiful. And this is where liberation is. Back to deep ecology to the earth. Um, I almost don't really have words to say. I just had to get on and talk about it. But it's just amazing. All the little creatures and leaves and moss. This, this rock formation here that I'm sitting atop of. Uh, probably formed hundreds of thousands of years ago. Several rocks here. Listen to that breeze. You can just feel the Spirit of God. It's so liberating. Civilization sucks. It's time for us to move to a new way. A new kind of thinking. Where we're not only intersected with the environment and intersected with our ancient roots. Uh, I'm reading this book right now by an indigenous First Nations writer called The Primal Mind, and it questions the whole, whole notion of what is civilized and what is primitive. How can we call ourselves a civilized society when there's so much hatred, murder, destruction, war, and technology used to hurt rather than improve mankind it begs the question of what is really civilized mm -hmm. what is really civilized certainly what we're doing is not what we're doing is destroying a beautiful wonderful creation an environment that an ecology that was for ordained for us to intersect with and be a part of, not that whole misreading of Genesis. 
It's not about dominion. It's about intersectionality with one another, with the planet, and with the universe. I'm just going to close with just a little bit more of a panoramic view. Not much else to say. Listen to the bird. And the wind. Anyway, this has uh, been Rev Reverend Bruce Wright with Backyard Thoughts, God's Backyard. Backyard Thoughts from the Edge, a theology, a true theology of liberation.